Hello everyone, and welcome. When I heard that the new Resident Evil 4 demo was out, I figured I had to try it out. And so far I'm actually rather impressed with the graphics options here on PC. You look at this. There is a ton of stuff in here. You have AMD F Fidelity FX Super Resolution 1 and 2. You know, we have ray tracing as if I cared. Uh, we have a 4K cinematics option. I'm playing in 1440p. Probably will look better than 1080p, but we'll see. And we have a ton of options in here. We have options for hair strands, which has a, an off, a normal, and a high. We have graphic dismemberment, persistent corpses, corpse physics, Diverse enemy animations, along with some of the regular stuff you normally see. Destructible environments. Resource intense lighting quality and resource intense effects quality. That's fantastic. I love that. We'll see what it's like in game. We'll have to toggle some of those options and see what they do. The thing that really made me happy if I can find it real quick. Here it is. Anti-aliasing off. Thank God. I, I don't know about about you as a viewer, if you're a gamer or not, if you like temporal anti-aliasing or if you hate it or if you don't even know what it is, but personally, I hate it. And not just because it excessively blurs out the visuals of the game, but because it introduces ghosting, which the human eye perceives as kind of motion blur. It drives me crazy. Like, my performance in game, my my skill level in a game drops noticeably when there's any kind of blurring out in motion. And so I absolutely hate ghosting. I have oh, well, the game's not running at 144 FPS, but I have a 144 Hertz monitor so I can play games at high FPS and see as little ghosting as possible. So I absolutely absolutely hate an anti-aliasing technology that just adds ghosting back to the game. So I want to say thank you so much to Capcom and whoever on the development team decided to put an off in this. Because in the last two major Resident Evil games, 7 and Village, there was no way to turn the anti-aliasing off without hex editing the game binary. Literally, you had to edit the .exe file for the game and a hex editor. But they gave us an off this time, which is fantastic. Thank you so much for that. This should be in every game. I should be able to just pop reshade in here and use Intel Conservative Morphological Anti-Aliasing 2.0 or whatever else I want. No, I shouldn't be restricted to only the game's anti-aliasing. So now that I'm done there. Let's let's go ahead and hit the main story and see what it's like. And see if we need to switch to a different anti-aliasing. Because a lot of games that use temporal anti-aliasing like to do dithered transparency on hair. Which gets rendered as a bunch of squares. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out. Thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, the punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just like what happened that night. Guy from Resident Evil Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. I don't remember Ada falling out of the helicopter. Then again, I don't really remember the Resident Evil 2 remake. Oh, reading? Um, let's skip the reading. Okay, yeah, I think the hair is dithered. I can't really zoom in closer to tell for sure. Honestly, 
the dithering, the squares that it, the hair is rendered in are so small, that it's hard to tell. But yeah, I think it is dithered. Oh, here we go. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely dithered. But it's so small, I don't really care. When you're back here, this. I think I found a stick. Anyway, when you're back here, you can't really tell. Remember to turn off the CMAA2. Might be a little more noticeable. It's not too bad. Let's try this anti-aliasing. And see, it has less of a performance impact. Seems to be performing about as well quality-wise. In some games, CMAA2 is noticeably better, or at least slightly better. In some games, you can't tell a difference. If I have an option, I don't mind this one. This one is like a somebody took FXAA and they stripped out the blurry blending component to it and then improved like the edge detection and anti-aliasing slightly. So it's it's got FXAA's anti-aliasing algorithm, but it's slightly improved, and it doesn't blur out the image, which is nice. You can get it on GitHub. Oh, oh, did I forget to change the... I went to hit the arrow keys, and it started moving the camera. Controls, here we go. Um, I hate the fact that I have to move the mouse out of the menu in order to scroll up and down. That is one thing I dislike about these, these games. Um, can I not change my... Oh, wait, there it is. And now, load by delete this. Uh, that's good. Um, okay, I'm not certain what button I was for the night. Try that. I don't think I'm going to like it, though. Lines. What? He cannot be bound. I do not approve of that at all. Use that. I use page down in almost every game. I, it's my traditional grenade key. Zoom in and out. Alt. Who cares? Um, well, that's right. Got to move. Because the scroll wheel is scrolling up and down the selector, instead of scroll, or instead of the, the entire list, as soon as you start moving the mouse, it changes what's selected and just drags it back up. So you'll never never make it where you're trying to go if you're around scrolling. What the hell am I doing? Got how the hell this works for a moment. Okay. Literally useless keys here. Okay, I understand some people may need this if they can't play with their mouse, maybe they're on a laptop, whatever. But for me, at least, these are completely useless. Now, I guess I could just leave them unbound, but a lot of games will complain at you if things are unbound and won't allow you to save. So I just go ahead and bind them to something I'll never use, which is WSD. Un. Stand evade. Quick who the hell needs quick turn? Got a mouse. No, I just remembered something that I cannot see on YouTube about this button. <laughs> I've never played Resident Evil before, so it's not something that I have said or would say. It's something that someone else said about the game. Those of you who, who know, you know, and that's that. Why should I make this button? Um, change weapon. So that's what the scroll wheel is for. Right? They have a lot of weapon 
slots in this game, huh? Let's make that E. Know what the escape is for? Would V be? Oh, because most people have their hands on the W, A, S, and D. So I guess V makes sense. It makes a hell of a lot more sense to me. Really, you can use the mouse for this? Yeah. Okay, yeah. You know, these icons would make infinitely more sense to me as a keyboard and mouse gamer. So it's just... And if I don't like the order they're in, I can change them. I like the fact that you can change all of this. Yeah, good job, Capcom, for that. You know, the, the scrolling in the menu makes because it's console style, you know, get pad controller kind of interface. But the fact that you can rebind all of this is fantastic. This is going to be boring. I should cut it out. Yeah. Attaché case. This is this is all you my stuff. I think I'm going to just save here. So I have to press space to confirm. I just hit back and it saves. That all saved now? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Mouse movement is not insanely fast. Game developers are starting to realize that on PCs, we have fast mice these days. We have back here. Um, Policia? Okay, we must be in Europe. Oh, visible wall. I know I'd hit something eventually that would block me. I will say that one of my my video game pet peeves is invisible walls. I I hate that. Not as much as temporal anti-aliasing. I I have like a little mini crusade against temporal anti. -aliasing. And I, I would like to see it eliminated as a graphics option altogether. I hate it that much, but honestly, I hate motion blur even more, so. It was really hard to see. I think that's intentional, though. I think it's supposed to be this dark. Hopefully this turns out okay on YouTube. YouTube will. This is an HDR, so the video I'm recording should be an HDR as well. I didn't bother checking. Oh yeah, it's on HDR. Okay. I am recording in HDR, so... Can't zoom in right now. I don't appear to have an inventory. What's with the random candles here? Can't get any closer to this, and I can't zoom in. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. In run. Oh, it's a bag over its head. Someone put a bag over the statue's head. It took me that long to figure out that that was just a bag. I think I have the volume down too low. Just bump everything a bit. Don't need to bump that any higher. Bump that as well. Environmental audio at the moment seems really quiet. But I think Leon's voice was loud enough. I am hearing something weird. It's like 
places. How far could he have gone? That doesn't sound like voices. That sounds like growling or something. Oh, it's zombies. I'm hearing zombies, aren't I? Is this tree? Is this fungus growing all over it? It's kind of hard to tell. I have to admit, this game doesn't look bad. For being modern, deferred, rendered with the temporal anti alias and all. So, someone was sacrificing goat, I think. It kind of looks like a goat. A big goat. It's almost the size of a cow. Looks like a demon goat. Why is there a random brick wall here? Maybe this used to be like a shrine or something. I mean, it still kind of is. But maybe it used to have a brick wall around it. Interesting. Leon has a gun, but I can't pull it out. I always love it when you... When you do it, the game's going to hint that you you should do before the game hints. It's like, yes, the tutorial is nice, but I don't need it. You know how video games work. Rabbit. Someone train rabbits. Why did they just cut the guts out of it and leave it? Anyway. That mud and leaves. It's kind of hard to tell. Of course, I guess if I really want to tell, I know it's probably a death. Oh my god. Hope I didn't just blind any. Yeah, I don't know why default settings for that shader are so screwed up. I don't know who it is who makes it or what they think. That people use it for but you cannot use that thing with the default settings it's just not possible you would literally blind yourself it's supposed to go around or inside it doesn't look like i'm supposed to go around another one of these wacky trees what was with this thing well that's the bark splintering off is that like a specific type of tree that has bark like that or is they're a disease or something. Or maybe some animal that like rips the bark off the tree. Or maybe zombies. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, a zombie zombie game. Or is it like special infected kind of monsters? Mutated kind of stuff. With some zombies thrown in. Um, maybe I can open this door. Again. Or maybe Leon will just... Oh, there he goes. I think he was just being careful. Cautious. I actually have no idea what the story between him being in this area is. Anyone home? Crafty house, I guess. Also, Leon, you just walked into somebody's house without knocking. That was wrong. Okay. I forgot you just push on the door. Wait a minute. Can't you double? Double tap on the door to uh, kick it open or something. No. I can definitely tell the HDR is on. Oh my. In the lighting, I can see something. Might be downsampling, rendering the, the lighting at the lower resolution and then scaling it. 
there's some kind of weird effect going on. They were probably using the temporal anti-aliasing to... What the hell is this? Stick? Okay. <laughs> that say? I don't think that's in English. I think it's Spanish. Oh, judgment is nigh. Well, you can tell it's a language that I don't know. Oh, I can't take this. It's not a key item. You know, this probably would go faster if I just hold one key, but I tend to be the type of gamer who likes to look at everything, explore everything, stick my nose in everything, even if it doesn't belong there. What's well, the room I was just in, isn't it? Well, I, I still don't speak Spanish, so. Which door am I supposed to go through? I need a flashlight. Lighting does look nice. Oh. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. Is he talking? Because I can't hear him. You know a key? Reflexes. That looked painful. I think he broke his jaw. I think they're dithering the shadows as well. The shadows on Leon's face there look dithered good. They have a gun. A shiny gun. The guy who drove us here? I feel like I missed going through a door, but. Oh my. I don't know if you'll be able to see that in the final. the final video or not, but. Yeah, there is definitely some weird effect in the lighting. I don't know if it's dithering or if it's something else. It looks horrible, though. Right? Let's throw on some FXAA. Remember, pixel up or sub-pixel up, and then this 0 0.001. I like to throw some clarity on there. Because the, FXAA shader and the shade kind of makes the colors a bit. Doesn't seem to be doing that. I'll leave it alone and turn on the NFAA. What's oh, still happening? Well, I'm not going to tolerate FXAA if I don't have to. So. So out of curiosity, did I miss a door? I don't have to hold the run button down. I didn't. Okay. I need the key before I could go through. Man, that stinks. Okay. 
Okay, we're just looking at it. Oh, I thought I had to do something with it. Man, did you kill this man with just a kick to the jaw? Only you could have done that in Resident Evil 2. How long have I been recording? Oh, 25 minutes? Alright, before I go through this door, I am going to go ahead and end this video here. Now I realize it had been this long. I apologize for not having the key binds figured out before starting. You know, it happens. But anyway, if you managed to make it this far, then thank you for watching, and have a nice day.